Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today, we're going to talk about a brand new artifact that was just donated to the museum's collection. This is the propeller from the very first RPV drone launched off of the battleship in the late 80s. Traditionally, the battleships used manned spotter aircraft to spot the fall of shot for their main battery guns. The whole reason the ships have such tall superstructures is to see where those projectiles land. However, the superstructures only allow you to see about 13 miles or so over the horizon. The shells can fire approximately another 10 miles beyond that. The battleship's embarked air group, which would have comprised of two or three float planes as designed, uh, would have been launched off of catapults right here on the fantail, and they would fly out over the enemy fleet and watch the fall of shot, and they would radio back corrections to the ship's gunners. With the prevalence of radar and uh, the difficulty of launching and recovering aircraft from a ship like this that doesn't have a traditional flight deck, uh, the Iowa-class battleships started to go away from that. During the Korean War, primarily doing shore bombardment missions, they would have used uh, largely Army or Air Force aircraft that would have been spotting their, their shore bombardment runs, or even uh, Navy aircraft launched by carriers. In the 1960s, New Jersey was modified to use a drone to spot her fall of shot. This was a uh, modification of a dash drone known as Snoopy. We have evidence that modifications were made, but we don't have any evidence that uh, one was ever operated by the ship. In the mid-80s, the Navy started using a drone that was designed by AEI called the Pioneer, the RPV, a remotely piloted vehicle. These drones um, had a pusher propeller on them, and I always say a lawnmower engine. It's a pretty low-powered engine. They used rocket-assisted takeoff to be propelled off of the ship, and then their onboard engine would take over, and the engine is spinning this pusher propeller behind it, and then on recovery, they would crash into something I've always referred to as the uh, volleyball net erected on the fantail, or um, I've been told that the aviation detachment would have called it the butterfly catcher. Uh, and so you, you basically come out with a joystick and the RPV pilot is crashing the thing into that net so you can recover it. The propeller is a relatively delicate piece, and so with a hard recovery like that, it was likely to be damaged, which is part of why it was a pusher propeller in the first place. If it was a propeller on the nose of the thing, it would have been damaged every time. Uh, but because it was likely to be bent or broken on recovery, they intentionally made them out of wood. This uh, appears to be pine, and it looks like 16 really thin layers of pine, um, a little bit more than a 16th of an inch. This comes out to about an inch and 5 eighths thick. And it looks like these uh, 16 layers are laminated together and then uh, sanded down to be the appropriate size. Uh, presumably, you could do this on the ship's carpentry shop. Uh, even into the 80s, the ship had a carpentry shop. However, I expect that the, uh, yeah, th these have uh, serial numbers and, and uh, manufacturer's marks on them. So I suspect that the drone detachment, which would have had their drones and their equipment in a pair of Connex boxes under turret number three, uh, would have just come out with a large supply of these. And if you happen to damage one on landing, you just replace this. You probably replace every single uh, flight. But check this out, you can even see the damage on the ends of the propellers, where, where it gets thinnest. And that's almost certainly uh, from recovery of the drone that that got nicked up. And so you can see why it was important that they make it out of a material that is uh, cheap and easy to replace. The operation of drones is one of the coolest things about Iowa-class battleships because it both connects her original World War II aviation spotting heritage with the far more modern use of unmanned aerial vehicles, which is just now re-entering widespread use in the U.S. Navy, with uh, unmanned aircraft starting to be deployed on other warships for a variety of functions. Battleship New Jersey does not have a Pioneer drone. If you know where we can get one, let us know in the comments section down below. 
Battleship Missouri and Nauticus, home of Battleship Wisconsin, both have RPV drones on display if you would like to see one in the meantime. And there's a video link in the description below that we made about Missouri's RPV drone last time we were out in Hawaii. I couldn't fit into my check luggage though or I would have smuggled it off of the island. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below for ways you can donate to support the museum. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about the museum and our channel. Thanks for watching.